So what's it like in Lunar Base 6? <laughs> One of the questions we've been asked about the um, Dyneema handrails is about wear and tear from hanging fenders on them. As you can see, this fender is incredibly loose because it's not actually putting its weight on the handrail. This is just keeping the rope out of the way. What's actually happening with this is that we've tied it down here, around the base of the um, stanchion, as you can see. So all the fender rub puts the wear and tear down at the bottom of the stanchion where there is minimal movement and therefore minimal stress and up here is just really loose rope. One of my other jobs today is to replace the deck fitting. Um, it was originally put in with um, silicon and as usually happens with silicon it's inadequate and fails. So this is going to be taken out, rebed it with butyl tape and then this will be put back in and it will stop the leaks that are coming through this part of the deck fitting. Whilst I'm at it, I may also take the opportunity to replace this rather crusty looking piece of guard line, jack line, um, which is, you can't see it on camera, but it feels very brittle on the cover and it's got cracks in it and it's probably about time it was replaced. It may go the same way as the uh, other lifelines and it may become Dyneema. These hard points, which are featured in earlier videos, where we normally tether on when we're at sea, um, also leak. And we've seen them in rainstorms. If you go down into the engine bay, which is underneath here, we can actually see the rain coming down the screw threads and actually dripping down on top of the engine. It's not good. So I've loosened these underneath and these are going to be coming out as well. So then, with all that in mind, let's go off and get some supplies. Butyl tape was sorted out, it was simply a matter of securing the hard points back into place. Next was to use the drill to remove the old silicon from inside the holes. And then it was a clean and tidy before masking off the area with paper tape. Once the bracket was secured down below and the butyl squeezed out, it could simply be removed by lifting the tape. <laughs> I'm trying on a... Uh... Uh, a super duper. Um, what are they called, love? Mullion North Sea. Mullion North Sea jacket. And I tell you now, I am absolutely lost in this, baby. Yeah. I'm going to stick it up in a minute. But the thing is about this, it's a uh, flotation device as well. As um, when you're out at the North Sea, you'll be able to keep you warm. Is that a, a strap that goes underneath you or something? It is. Oh, I see, it's even got a strap that goes underneath. So, what's it like in Lunar Base 6? <laughs> She's come back from Lunar Base 6. <laughs> I am prepared for anything. <laughs> On then, Bev. I'm crawling into my space suit. Are you? It feels <laughs> that way. Right. Oh, days. Yeah, this is uh, what. It's not quite as bad as getting into a wetsuit. No. Close. This is what um, all. Um, it's what the fashionable sailors should be wearing this season. <laughs> one piece flotation suit. Yeah, it's got 50 newtons of. 50 um, newtons of buoyancy. 
But that's yeah. not an excuse to avoid wearing your life jacket. No, it's not. The buoyancy is everywhere, so you, you no guarantee you'll float head up. Yeah. And of course, with your life jacket, that's exactly what you want to do. Right. <sighs> yeah. Well, you certainly look like a red berry, Bev. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to tip up my hands. No, um, the thing about these is they've just got a load more insulation yeah. and um, because at one point or other we will be sailing the Baltic, won't we Bev? I'm sure it'll be warmer than sailing the Irish Sea. <laughs> just about anything would be. Yeah, so we'll be going places like the Baltic and we're going to be going hopefully to the Orkney Isles this year. We'll see, see how it works out. Yeah, they're on the would like to do, but they are on the... Would we'll, like to do, but not essential. But they will be cut if we have to. Right, right. one of the other things that's got in this pocket, I think... Yeah, it is. It's in that pocket. ...is it also comes with a whistle and a tether. <coughs> for attracting attention. Yep. So, as think. well as the reflective strips and a nice yellow um, hat. So that um, you've got, um, you know, if you go, do go in the water, you'll be able to see them. Yeah, I need to adjust the hat to fit my head, so to speak. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, so there's, there's adjusters here. Yeah. But because I've just literally taken it out of the packet. Yeah. But um, this is, a, like I say, it's a mullion suit. Yeah. Um, but, um, oh yeah, mullion. Yeah, it's a mullion suit, but um, we um, did some saving, hopefully, uh, the other day, and um, we basically s saved a mullion quid. <laughs> <laughs> so, it feels a little stiffer because of all the insulation, because it hasn't been worn before. My existing gear, my saddle belts and things, feel quite loose and free. I haven't worn them for five years, so of course they're well worn in. So, we're expecting a big storm in tonight, Storm Freya, it's got a name so it's not good news and I'm going to just check the lines, tighten things up and get ready for this evening. And it's chucking down and you know what, I don't really care. <laughs> Am I looking all fashionable for you? You're looking gorgeously fashionable dear! Get on with doing the lines.